I have some freshly made canna butter. We're gonna use this to make the classic pot brownie today. Watch my video for how to make canna butter and find the detailed instructions on my blog. Let's get started. To make the wee brownies, we'll need canna butter, eggs, sugar, pure vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, cacao powder, salt, and chocolate chips. First, I will show you the main method to make the brownies with the infused butter fat only, and let's leave the pulps to the side for now. In a large bowl, mix melted can of butter, sugar, two large room temperature eggs, and pure vanilla extract. Make sure the butter is hot and the eggs aren't cold, so that the sugar can be completely dissolved. I use organic sugar, but you can use any other granulated kind. In the same bowl, add all-purpose flour, cacao powder, and salt, then combine everything into a thick batter. As we don't want to affect the consistency of the brownie batter, we can alter the ratio of can of butter in large amount. Therefore, to change the potency of the brownies, we need to change the cannabis to butter ratio at the time of making the can of butter. Check out my video of the can of butter recipe in the link. Alternatively, you can add some cannabis pulp at this point as a way to make the brownies more potent, as well as to use up the leftover pulps. I will not add the pulps today so that we can use this recipe as a benchmark for potency. Next, line an 8 inch square cake pan with parchment paper, grease the sides with oil, transfer the brownie batter into the pan, then level and smooth out the surface. You can decorate the brownie top with chocolate chips, but that's completely optional. Bake the brownie at 350 for 30 minutes, then cut into individual servings. When it comes to homemade edibles, it's really hard to predict the potency of your creation due to so many factors. However, by using my own can of butter recipe, I can make a rough estimate based on experience. I cut my brownie into 25 pieces and recommend eating 1-2 to two pieces at a time. But if you have a really high tolerance level, you may be able to eat up to 4. Each piece of the brownie is about the strength of two cannabis chocolate squares I made previously. I'll leave the link. That's another really great recipe to try. If you cut your brownies into larger pieces, be sure to eat fewer of them. You can find the full wheat brownie recipe on my blog and a ton of tips to make your own adjustments.